God bless you guys. I pray that you guys are blessed. Um, God is faithful. Amen. Uh, I just got in the word, uh, Colossians 3, 1 through 4, and it really blessed me. So we're going to go ahead and read it and pray it blesses someone else too. Amen. Here we go. Colossians 3, 1 through 4, and the word of the Lord reads, If you are then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things of the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Amen. That's just such a blessing. Amen. That, 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 that we are risen with Christ, that we have, we have died, that the old man has passed and all things have become new, that, uh, that we are born again, right? <clears throat> Amen. That we are washed clean of our sin, washed by the blood of Jesus. Amen. It's just, it's just such a blessing and a reminder uh, the, 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 of, of what Jesus did on the cross for us, that he literally brought us from death to life, <clears throat> right? In verse 1, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God, right? That we seek those things. Let us seek the things above, right? Let us not focus on, on, on temporary things, things that will pass and wither away, but let us focus and seek the things on heavenly things. Amen. Things that the things not of this world, but things in heaven that are everlasting, that are eternal. Let us seek the things of God that are eternal. Amen. Man, that is just such a blessing. It's such a blessing. And in verse 2, set your affection on things above, not on things of the earth. Amen. The same thing is, is let us not set our let us not set our sights and have desires for things of this world. Amen. Let us just continue to seek God and, and, and have the desires of God to know God and to grow in Him and, and just to know that this life is temporary. That we're here for a season to do the will of God, to do the will of the Father, to 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 to, op, to 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 do exactly what He created us to do. And how do we know that? How do we know His will for our life? It's when we seek Him, right? The, the, when we seek Him, that when we do not conform to the ways of the world, but that we trans be transformed by the renewing of our minds, that we're able to see God's will, which is perfect. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 3, ye are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God. Amen. That we are dead. That we are dead to the sinful nature. That we are dead to the old self. That what we used to know, how we used to live is dead. That we buried that. That we went under when we, when we went down under the water and came up washed clean. Washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. That we are born again. That we no longer live for ourselves, but the life we live now, we live for Christ. Praise God. That all things have passed. That we don't pick up, um, you know, sometimes we can, uh, the, the less time that we spend with God and, and we end up falling um, <clears throat> for jobs or careers or maybe there's an opportunity and, and it takes a lot of our time and we're excited because it's a position that, that, that we really like and, and it's got a good, it's good, good paying job. Right. But what it's doing is it's, it's, it's separating us from our time with God. Amen. We're not, we're not spending the time that we used to with the Lord. We're not spending in the time, uh, the time that we used to in God's word that now we're just going through the motions. We're going to a Sunday, uh, service and, and, and don't get me wrong. Like the word of God says, don't forsake the gathering of the saints. Amen. Praise God that we go and, and we worship corporately and praise God, right? And edify one another, encourage and fellowship with one another and grow as iron sharp as iron. Amen. That we bring, bring God glory. Amen. Hallelujah. But let us not just be a check, check the box. We, we went to church on Sunday. I don't want to be a, a man that, that goes and, and gets caught up in religion to where I'm going and I'm going to church every Sunday, but there's no fruits being produced because I'm not filling my lamp that, that I'm not on fire for God. I like the bridesmaids that were preparing for the wedding, right? And, and, and the, 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 the woman, the, the, the bridesmaid that had her lamp full of oil, that the, the, when they went to go, that the, the, the other bridesmaids did not fill their lamps up. And they asked her for, for some oil. And it's like, no, like we got to get our own oil. We got to go seek God. We got to spend time in that secret place. We got to abide in him, Right abide in the lord and allow him to prune the things that are producing fruit and cut off the things in our life that are not producing fruit 
Amen. Let us fill our lamps. Let us spend time with him. Let us feed our spirit with the word of God, with the things of God, with, with the time that we spend with the Lord, that, that God's able to prune us and, 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 and uh, give us breakthrough and speak to us and do whatever it is that he's doing in our life. That we're able to hear him and not only just to do that, but to, to, to because we enjoy spending time with him because we love him because he loved us first. Amen. I know I'm talking kind of fast, but uh, I'm just excited. God is faithful. Amen. So, uh, yeah, praise God, man. Praise God. Uh, verse four, when Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Amen. Wow. That, that, that we will be with him, that we are seated in heavenly places, that we are being transformed from faith to faith, to glory to glory, just to be in his presence, that one day we will be there with the Lord, literally, that we, there will be no more sickness, no more pain. But when we leave these earthly bodies and that we'll have new heavenly bodies, that we'll be able to go and be with the Lord and praise him and worship him and do exactly what we were created to do, that we'll be out of this wicked world. And, and, and you know that just like jesus said you know it's uh you know he, he he has to leave so he can give us the helper so he had to go even though we want to be with him the the disciples wanted to be with the lord but 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 he had to go to be with the father and so he can leave us his holy spirit the helper to guide us and lead us right and even like paul the apostle paul said that he, that, you know, he he desires to go and be with the Lord, but then he wants to stay with us because, you know, he loved us and he, it'd be better because he wants to encourage us to to edify, to teach, and do all the to do the will of the Father, but but he would his desires to go with the Lord, Amen. So one day that, that time will come, and it, and it, and and I pray that that, that I don't want to be uh, in a place to where I'm just trying to get to heaven, that I'm trying to make it to heaven. That it's that, that it's like a burden, you know, to 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 go and and get and give somebody the good news, to to preach the gospel, to evangelize, right? To 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 to, to do everything that God that, that Jesus commanded us to do, right? Go to all the nations, heal the sick, tell them the good news of Jesus that He died on the cross for us, that He was buried, rose again three days later. Amen. And it's sent it into heaven. But praise God that they, 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 and to also cast out devils, man. It's like we want we want to be the hands and feet of Christ, man. We want to live a surrendered life and say, God, you know, you I want to know what it is that you will for my life. I want to know how you want to use me, how I can be effective, which you which you have created me specifically to do, Lord. Show me, Lord, teach me. Prune me, Lord. Cut the things off of my life that are not producing fruit, Lord. Humble me, Lord. Remove any pride. Like Jesus said, that, 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 that when they asked him, you know, there's many times in the Bible where, where people ask, Lord, what's up? what must I do to enter the kingdom of heaven? And he said, deny yourself, pick up your cross, and follow me. So let us deny ourselves and stop leaning on our own understanding and own strength. Sometimes we can get caught up even, uh, you know, doing ministry that we get so caught up in doing that that and that's what we're called to do right but we can't do it without being filled up without spending time with god and allowing him to move uh, yielding to the spirit and allowing the spirit to move the way he wants to move and show us and direct us where to go so let us not grow weary in doing good amen but let us submit to the lord in all of our ways that we will make our path straight Hallelujah. Yeah, this is just a blessing, man. Uh, wow. Set our affections on things above, right? Like, it's just seek him. Seek him. Is there is there something wrong with having things? No, there's nothing wrong with having things. But but if we, if we care more and love more for these materialistic things or whatever it is in this world, um, then we do for God and, and, and what his will is for our lives and to spend time with him, then we need to, we, we need to reevaluate our faith and we should be doing it on a daily basis, filling our lamps that we're able to shine brightly for the Lord. We need to be in his presence. We need to be filled up. Otherwise we're running around on a, on an empty tank. 
I mean, it just doesn't make sense for somebody to go get just enough gas to just get through the day and, and that's it. Like, it doesn't make sense. You know, like some, it doesn't make sense. Why would we not fill up, right? Why would we not fill our lamps so we're shining brightly for all to see? We're the light of the world. A light on top of a hill that cannot be dimmed. And what good is a what good is a lamp if, if you put a basket over it? Like, what's the point? We're supposed to be shining brightly for the Lord, going out, making disciples, telling people the good news about Jesus, that He died for us on the cross, that that there is a Savior, that there's someone that loves you, that there is somebody that that that. That no matter what you've done, that, that you are forgiven, that, that no matter what they said to you, no matter what you've been through in life, that you were forgiven. And you could be made new right now, today. Not, I got to get right, I got to do this, I got to do that. I had that mentality before. And it was a lie from the pits of hell, it was the enemy. The lies that I was believing. They kept me from running to God because I thought I had to get right. It's like, no, we're missing the point. God wants us to run to him and he's waiting for us with open arms and he meets us in the middle. That he's waiting for us to just cast everything on him, cast all our cares, all our burdens and take upon his yoke, his yoke and because his yoke is light. To trust him and believe in him that we're saved by grace through faith. Trust him. He just wants us to trust him. So I pray today that, it, that, that if this is you, that, 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 that if we've came to a place to where, you know, life and, you know, schooling and, and a great career and those things are all good. If if we're, we're giving God the glory out of every situation, amen. It's not wrong to have things. But if these things are more important and we spend more of our life uh, doing these other things than we spend with God at that secret place with the Lord in God's word. Right. then all we have to do is come before him. Say, Lord, I've fallen short. Forgive me. Strengthen me. Heal me, Lord. Trust him. That if we trust him, he will show us the way. Amen. God wants to bless you. God loves you. He wants, we are, we are, we are blessed and highly favored. Amen. God's plan for us are, are not to harm us, but, but to prosper us and to give us hope in the future. But we must seek him in all that we do. We must give him glory in every situation. We must walk in the spirit so that we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So let us deny ourselves daily, pick up our cross and follow Jesus. Fill ourselves up with God's word. Fill ourselves up in the presence of God. Abiding in the Lord. Abiding in Christ, allowing allowing them to cut off the things that aren't producing fruit and pruning the things that that are, that we're able to produce more fruit. Amen. So I pray this blesses somebody. Um, God bless you guys. Uh, it really blessed me today and I was really excited about it when I got into it, uh, this word, because it really just reminded me, you know, and uh, it just got, got us so faithful. So I thank you guys. God bless you. Be encouraged today. Be encouraged that God is with you, that, that no matter through the storm, the trials, that God is faithful in every season, and every season has a purpose, that when our faith is tested, it builds endurance, that the man that endures to the end will be saved. God bless you guys. Have a blessed night. In Jesus' name.